Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Spiegel. I've been practicing for 35 years as a physician and 20 years in the field of hyperbaric medicine. Very early in my career, I found that hyperbaric oxygen therapy actually worked very well for neuropathy. And this is the way I found out. I was treating a patient with a non-healing diabetic wound. That patient had no sensation from the tip of the toe up to the knee. In, as a matter of fact, the reason why they had the wound is because they had actually injured their foot and didn't realize that there's a bad ulcer on the bottom of the foot. We treated the foot with hyperbaric therapy, which is, a, which is a common use of hyperbaric therapy. And after the wound healed, the patient told me that the numbness from the knee down that was there for eight years had completely resolved to the point where he could actually feel where he was walking, you feel the sensation of the floor. If you were to step on uh, a crumb on the floor or, uh, or uh, some object on the floor, they would now feel it where before they would not. I then took that information, I went to my other patients with dieback neuropathy as well as neuropathy from other causes, and I treated them with hyperbaric therapy. And they too showed significant reduction in swelling, inflammation of the nerves in the feet, the pain subsided as well for which before we used, to, we used to put them on medications such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, Neurontin, Cymbalta, and then narcotics on top of that. And these medications kind of numbed the area a little bit, made them a little less painful, but didn't stop the problem. Plus, it gave the patients side effects from the medication. I have found that when I do hyperbaric therapy, I'm able to take away those medications, reduce the side effects from the medications, and have the patient not be uncomfortable. So you get the best of both worlds, lack of cost of the, of the pain medications, lack of side effects from the medications, and no pain, and being able to function better. What else could you ask for? So if you're thinking of a method to try and reduce the discomfort that you're living with, meaning the burning and tingling and stabbing pain, which I personally would not want to have to live with, hyperbaric therapy is an excellent thought process because what you're doing is you're increasing the circulation to the extremities, to your feet or your hands, where they're lost because of uh, either some vascular abnormality that went on or even diabetes. So when you have diabetes and you have lack of blood perfusion to your extremities, you decrease the amount of blood going to the nerves in your feet, and that makes the nerves die back. With hyperbaric therapy, you do several things. Number one, you reduce swelling inflammation in the extremity, which allows more blood to go into the extremity. Number two, you make the blood vessels grow into the area, which nurture the nerves and allow them to regenerate. So you're increasing circulation, which is good because you don't want to get a non-healing wound in your leg. You're, uh, you're reducing discomfort. You're improving uh, the ability to ambulate, to walk, less risk of falls and other injuries that come with that. So it's important to always consider hyperbaric therapy with neuropathy.